right, Pisces. Happy um, New Year, Pisces. Happy New Year. Wow, Pisces, in a very long time, I have not seen a year like this. What is going on with you, Pisces? What is going on with you, Pisces? Wow. All right, so what we're seeing is worries, worries with uh, um, you and a uh, Gemini is having some sort of a problem. Worries with uh, people um, uh, in power, worries with your materialist disability, worries uh, where there is some sort of a problem is coming up for you, Pisces. Your Pisces are dealing with some sort of a legal issue um, with money. So um, you Pisces are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini or a Libran. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, it could be some sort of a tax problem, some sort of an issue that you're having with people in power, or you could be having some sort of a problem with a Gemini. Whoever this Gemini is and whatever is transpiring, I see some of you Pisces or having a problem with a Gemini, some sort of worries. Um, and uh, it could be a boss or ex-boss, some sort of a deceptive um, situation with this Gemini and a fire sign man. And I see that they are realizing the play between a Gemini and a fire sign man and what they have done. Um, this year, um, some of you um, will receive some money that is going to be coming back. So money is going to be, for some of you, balancing out. Some sort of an offer is going to be coming in in the second half of the year. In the center, you're dealing with a fire sign man in a bank financial institution. Whoever this person is, is very deceptive. So you Pisces have to be aware of who this person is. So some sort of a cycle is over. A lot of you Pisces are dealing with financial institution and problems. If you notice the only two energies that is upright um, is the Ace of Pentacles, uh, some sort of a tower moment, and this is it. Uh, I was like blown away. 777. Um, some of you Pisces are on the wrong part. Whatever is transpiring, Pisces, if you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius, go back and look at the Sagittarius. Go back and look at what is happening because 77, you are on the wrong part. The sevens are in the reverse. So whatever is happening and, and transpiring in the world of the Pisces uh, in this year, you are taking the wrong decision and is on the wrong part. So you got to be aware of what is happening with you Pisces because they're, you're going to be finding out. I see a lot of you Pisces are too open um, with some sort of a business deal with a um, Gemini person. I'm not really trusting this Gemini person. Um, so some of you Pisces need to stand your ground with a relationship and a situation. Could be a father figure that you're dealing with. Um, you need to stand your ground. Then I see some sort of a financial situation. The four of pentacles, the cycle is over. Some sort of a project some of you are trying to get off of the ground in this year. But I see financial balance is here. A new start to your financial situation is going to be coming up in the month of June. So um, the crowning is that some of you are dealing with a fire person in a financial institute organization and realizing the deceptive play of this fire certain person, whether it's a man or woman, whoever this person is and what this person have done, you're finding out the deceptive play of this person. So you got to be aware. Um, so you're dealing, you're, you're making the wrong decision in this year, um, Pisces, whatever is happening, some sort of a wrong decision and dealing with a Gemini that is really disturbing. Okay. Um, the worries that you had with a fire sign man is finally going to be over. The tower moment is here and it's finally going to be over. I see some sort of a problem and some sort of a blockage is, is going to be resolved and removed. And I see things are going to be start moving um, for you, Pisces, okay? Um, the months to look out for, oh, uh, November, October, November, October, November. So October, November, some major event is going to be transpiring. October, November is as if you realize in the month of October that you have not um, balanced out some sort of a problem or issue. Um, the reverse of the world 
and the towel moment also in reverse. So whatever blockages was there is going to be lifted. So that is going to be good. But it's as if you um, Pisces, the month of October and November is going to be playing some sort of a significant in your life. In order to see the extended of this reading, you have to join, use the join button and go to the third subscription in order to see what is happening. So in January, um, you need to um, send your ground. Okay, what is happening is as if you're folding in a position where a whole lot of regrets, sadness and regrets. Pisces, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, whatever is happening. I see a whole lot of uh, um, your passion is down. You have no strength to deal with anything. And Pisces, just pick up yourself. Pick up yourself. You got to pick up yourself and stand up and start moving forward. Okay, so um, where you at with the seven of ones in reverse is not... Uh, what you need to be doing you need to pick up yourself and uh, bring in some sort of a balance in okay so stop uh, um you know being just so this um you know beating up yourself let it go let it go okay then we're moving to february a water energy emotional it's your birthday but you're so emotional you are dealing with a Leo person, whether this person is, is just creating a whole lot of issue in your world and you're so emotional. Pisces, whether this Leo person is, there's a whole lot of situation that is going on with this Leo person that is affecting you. In the month of March, another fire sign energy, um, you need to protect yourself uh, in March. Protect yourself from a Gemini man. Whatever is happening in transpiring, Pisces, you got to protect uh, yourself from a Gemini man or protect a Gemini man. So a lot of you, your worries in this year is going to be have to do with Gemini man. It could be your father. It could be a boss. It could be people in power. It could be some sort of a problem issue. Some sort of a cycle is going to be over, but it could be a father figure that is a Gemini. You'll be having a whole lot of worries over this person. So let's look at your second half. Your second half have to do with a fire sign man. As far as I man is very destructive, that was creating some sort of a problem for you is going to come to an end. Then we see an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. This is coming up as a Gemini person. I see some sort of a money or financial stability is going to be returning from this person. I see they're finding out that a a fire sign man was very deceptive and as a intercept and took some money that was not theirs. And I see they are going to be holding on to this man. And I see a lot of you is like, Jesus, when is this going to be over? You know, this man is just so I don't want to deal with this man anymore. So a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign man. Whoever this fire sign man is, is creating a lot of worries for you, Pisces. So, um, and uh, then we are looking at the month of May. The month of May, a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of an issue um, with a um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. And it could be that you're open to help them out financially, or they are open to help you out financially in the month of May. So however that is happening and transpiring, I see some sort of an help is going to be coming in from this person. Then when we look at June, you're going to be financial stable in June. You missed, Maybe you're getting a new job because I see you beating up yourself in January, March. But I see June, you're going to be financial stable. So not to worry about it. So the first half here is, is you are coming in, um, beating up yourself. No offer for, of love. You're not open to love. It's as if you're beaten down. You're feeling as if... Uh, um, you know, you have been spurred out and uh, you are not no longer feeling yourself coming in this year. But as we move to the second half of the year, some sort of a financial situation in a financial institution, some sort of a worries is created for some of you. Scorpion information could be coming in from you. Some of you could be looking for a new job. But when we see the four of pentacles, some of you are worried about your financial status in the month of uh, um, July, August, a whole lot of worries, a whole lot of worries. And you're hoping for this worries to be over. But this worries is going to be over in November, October, November. 
in the month of September, you're open to anything. It's as if you're looking for a job and you're open for anything. Whether it's this love or a job, you are now open for anything to come at you. In the month of October, the um, last quarter of the year, you're dealing with a major arcana with some sort of a um, cycle, some sort of a situation with a fire sign man. Whoever this fire sign man is, uh, need to let it go. A lot of you, maybe it's your partner, maybe it's your husband, because a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign man and a Aquarian Gemini or a Libra man. Now, these two men are really disturbed. Okay, so be aware of it. Maybe um, some of you, this is your husband and you're fighting with your husband with some sort of a um money you could have been divorcing going through a huge divorce lawyers that sort of a thing could be coming up in the month of november um a fire energy a tower moment is coming up in the month of the november are you ready for this is this something that you were um aware aware of but um two major event of is going to be coming up one in October. It has to do with the earth, um, our earth, a sort of a cycle is going to be ending in October and November. A huge tower moment but that is going to be shifting your world. And in December, you're not going to be making the right decision. Whatever decision that is supposed to be made, you're not going to be making the right decision. The seven of pentacles. And this could be a decision about a job, a project, a freelance, um, something that you're doing. You're not going to be making a right decision. It's like you're going back to do the same thing and it's not happy about it. So uh, Pisces this year is looking a really, really some sort of instability. And your major points is going to be in October and November. And where is for a Gemini man? So this man, if your father is a um, Gemini, you're going to be having a lot of worries. You're going to be worried for this person. Okay, so I see um, it's as if you, you, you are letting go. You have no idea what to do, how to help, you know, your father, that sort of a thing. And I see you're not making a right decision for your father or not making a right decision for whoever the Aquarian Gemini or because you're it's as if you made the wrong decision for this person or um this person is creating a whole lot of issue for some of you so you have to be aware of what is happening and transpiring now love i see you're open and you're um showing love to your father that is going to be good in this year I see you're hoping that, um, you know, a cycle is not over. No, that is not. Your father will be okay if you are worried about your father. Now, the person you should worry about is a fire sign person. But I see um, when you get to the month of November, this person is going to be finally out of your life. Okay. So whoever this fire sign person is, is totally ridiculous. It could be an um, an Aries person, totally ridiculous, a very deceptive Aries person, and they're really going to be finding this out. You need to protect yourself more, Pisces. You are just too open. You're just open up in this year, and you really need to protect yourself more. So I see you come into this year like, Jesus, what a year. I am not really happy um, this and this and that, and you are not happy in this year. And it's going to be a year that is going to be taking you to really take a deep look and to really look at where you are, especially when it comes up to your financial situation and how some of you have created and make some sort of a um, false decision. And they're going to be finding out and realizing and seeing what was happening and what was transpiring. And then it's making some sort of a other change that is transpiring. Okay. The energy of the seven of inspiration, a lot of uh, you have, it's as if you have no inspiration. Um, creative people in this year, it could be good for you, but it's as if you're not putting your creativity out there. It's as if uh, you feel as if, uh, you know, the world is not open for you. And it's as if you're feeling um, sadness for yourself. So, just pick it up, Pisces, and realize that life is about changes, okay? 
So in the month of January, it's going to be fire. In the month of February, emotion, not in a positive way. Some sort of a problem with your child father. If your child father is a Leo, some sort of a problem issues. Um, then um, we see um, you, uh, creative wise, you're going to be making a lot of money. If you're a creative person, you're going to be making a lot of money. So this is going to be good. Then we see some sort of financial issue with a bank, financial corporation, institution is coming up for you, Pisces. Then we see um, some sort of offer is going to be coming in. And some of you are hoping, worried to death over when you're going to be receiving some sort of a new offer, some sort of a new contract. Stop. Just start for yourself. Whatever is happening and transpiring, just start for, start for yourself because whatever... It's going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring that it's going to be helping you um, to inspire yourself, to give yourself a boost and to give yourself some sort of a new start moving on. So it is a year where you Pisces is going to be like, oh my God, I can't wait until this year is over. What a year. And for some of you, it could be a good year. Some of you could be a bad year. But in order to find out what is going to be affecting you in this year, because you have a lot of fire energy dealing with a lot of fire people. Um, it could be you yourself being passionate to that sort of a situation. So that could be good. However, that is coming up. So if it's you being good and that sort of a thing and being passionate about what you do, um, that is going to be turning out good for you. So it, it's as if, um, Take the lemon and make lemonade. It's a year where you Pisces really have to take the lemon and make some lemonade for yourself because this is if it's not happening, you're worried. Just get some lemon, make some lemonade. You will see that this lemonade is going to be taken off and creative people is going to be a very good year. Your creativity is going to be really um, hitting you in the month of uh, um, um, January, um, March, January, March, and in June, you're going to be, you know, hitting the big box where some sort of a financial stability is going to be coming in and this is going to be good. But it's as if uh, you feel as if Jesus, this year is like lemonade. Yes, it is like, um, lemonade. So you're going to be Offered a couple of lemon and maybe they're, they're not they're not ripe enough for you as you always have, but you can use them to make lemonade and push yourself through um, this year because um, you can't just sit back and let the year go by. You have to also um, whatever obstacles or whatever problems that is happening, you gotta you know just step and just move forward and just work with this. So, however, this is going to be coming up. It's not going to be a year of uh, um here. We're giving you this. It is a year of you um reaching out and take uh, um the, what is uh, um yours. And I see that this is going to be helping you. Um, to realize that, yeah, all the gears you have been sitting, waiting, and now you're opening up and taking what is uh, rightfully yours. And I see that this is where it is going to be opening up and showing you guys that um, you have the potential in order to create your wealth and stability. And it is a year that is going to be opening up a lot of doors for you to make some sort of a decision, to for you to create, for you to start your own um business uh, for you to create your own wealth and for you to realize and understand that your universal angels are right there waiting for you waiting for you to make the decision and call them in for you um to create your life and this is going to be good so whatever is happening and transpiring um you need to know that you have to take the bull by its or in, in uh, this year um pisces it's no time to sit and wait and ponder and hoping and dreaming no dream it's as if uh, um, there is no more time to be dreaming. It is a time in this year that you're going to be have to be standing up and taking what you want because uh, the dream time is going to be over and there's no question about this. This year, the dream time is over and you have to stand back and realize that it's time 
for you to create your own abundance and wealth. And you're going to be realizing that life is about you standing up and taking what it is, using the lemon to make lemonade and create your wealth and stability. I gotta go. Namaste until next time.